Alright, hello. Right, hello everybody. Welcome to another, hopefully, stream. As I say guys, I know on this channel I've been away for a couple of weeks, but I just needed some time. I needed some time, guys, away from the channel. I needed just some time to myself to, you know, do other stuff, you know, do other stuff out in the uh, out in the real world. That's why I needed to just take a couple of weeks break. So, but yeah, I say I'm back. And today, as you can see, guys, we're going to be looking at a new game that came out on the 30th of August 2023. We're going to be looking at Call of the Wild, the Anglia. So we're going to be looking at something different. Yes, guys, I have looked at Call of the Wild, the Hunter. Yes, that I think that's available on the channel to watch as well. But yeah, this game, guys, you can play. Bear with me a second. <clears throat> so yeah guys, you can play this game on Xbox Series X and S, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, you can also play this on Xbox Game Pass, you can also play this on Steam as well. So yeah, it's over quite a few platforms, so you've got something to play. But yeah, the price for this game guys on Xbox is $29.99 that's on Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S as well and also P uh, the PC if you've got the Xbox Pam app on PC for Steam let me have a look so yeah on Steam guys the price of this on Steam is normally $23.79 but there's a 50% deal on Steam at the moment guys to the 6th of September so you can pick that up and then on PlayStation which is PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 you've got the launch edition which is $24.99 and then you've also got the deluxe edition which is $36.99 so if you want to pick up that on PlayStation there's your prices but yeah I'm going to be looking at this guys on an Xbox Series S just to let you know so as I say, I will put all my social links down below, guys. I will also put the link to this game down below as well, guys, so you can have a look. And as I say, guys, if I enjoyed this game on stream, I might do a bit more, but let's see how the game actually goes, if I enjoy it or if I don't enjoy it. Anyway, let's get into it, shall we? So yeah, if you want to uh, get an Apex account, guys, you can sign in, create an account and skip. We're going to skip that. i uh, say so I'll probably do it another time. But yeah, once you come through to the screen, guys, you've got play, options, and then you can also connect your Apex account as well. We're going to go into play. So yeah, when you get to play, guys, you've got Call of the Wild. So you've got Gold, Gold Ridge Reservoir lo Location, United States, fishing species of 21. And then as I say, you've also got Trollops Nature Reserve. You need to download that reserve, guys. If you, I think, yeah, you need to download that. Oh, there, there, there. Sorry. You need to download that off the store if you want to play that. So, uh, I'm not sure if that's free or uh, I'm not sure if you actually have to pay for that. I don't know. Um, bear with me a second. Yeah, for the Norway one, uh, you have to pay for it, so... Actually, just bear with me a second. I think I've given people the wrong information about how much this is on the Xbox. I think I've given people the wrong information. Bear with me a second. I say the music quite good on this as well. Probably I don't know getting copyrighted. Okay. I say I gave you the wrong information about how much it is on Xbox, guys. It is not $29.99, it is $24.99. I do apologise about that. So, yeah, we're going to go to Gold Ridge Reserve, is where we're going to go. See, so, yeah, once you click on Gold, Ru Gold Ridge Reserve, you've got play, you've got vouch, you've got fishing species. So, they're all your fishing species. You've got 
large mouth bass, small mouth bass, bluegill, uh, burbot, black crappy, channel catfish, tiger musky, yellow perch, north pike, conicky salmon, sorga, shovel nose sturgeon, green sunfish, brook trout, cutthroat trout, gold trout, lake trout, orchard trout, rainbow trout, walleye and mountain whitefish. And then you've also got uh, legendary fish of the Goldstein, Big Larry and Sidewinder. And then yeah, you can check your stats, so the biggest catch you've done, the best score, Warden favours completed, challenge missions completed and points of interest discovered. And then you've also got the Reservoir video, which... Let me just have a look at that a second. Here we go guys. I'm Clayton David Johnson, and I would say this here is my park. But from this day forward, well, that ain't quite true. As far as the eye can see, stream to sky, grove to gully, this ain't mine no longer. It's ours. Ours to explore, ours to cherish, and most importantly, ours to take responsibility for. Because if we don't, uh, not a soul will. Take your time to drink it in and get used to life here. The hot springs or mountain lake are great goals. But you call the shots, go where you'd like. Your equipment will take more than a little mastery. But if it's easy, it ain't worth doing. And you'll thank your lucky stars you did in the end. It's true that sweet mother nature offered up this bountiful providence. But over the years, man has spat on it, ground it underfoot, siphoned off her plenty for ruin. It's been the job of us Johnsons to keep it together since 1872. Trust me, it ain't easy. Hell, I'm not even sure it's possible. But it's well worth it. What we have today is beautiful beyond compare. It's due to the collective efforts of every guest that I can welcome you. Golden Ridge Reserve. That was actually a really nice video actually of um, the Gold Ridge Reserve. Hopefully on other reserves guys they do the exact same thing I'll put in a reserve video so you can see what it looks like. But yeah what we're going to do is we're going to go up to uh, play. So yeah the information it's got here Gold Ridge Reserve is a beautiful national park with many different areas to explore from the wild blue lakes basins of the emerald lake plateau to the rust colored hills of ruby river range not to mention the gorgeous flower covered fields of the silver strand meadows there is there is sorry there is something for everyone here Hello Bob, this is a new game, this is a brand new game, this came out on the 30th of August 2023. But yeah, welcome Bob. As you could probably notice, I haven't been around for uh, about a couple of weeks. I've had to take some time out, because, well, I just needed some time to myself. Okay, so here we are. Uh, that's... 
that's my fishing rod. Put my fishing rod away. Thank you very much. Uh, that's options. Okay, so here's the map. You can see the um, the range is actually quite big. It is absolutely massive. So yeah, this is where your daily challenges appear. Uh, back to your map. Your backpack, so you've got your rod, and that's about it. Oh, you've got your reels. And you've also got your tackle, so you've got your blood worm, your eggs, your bumble, your yeah, your hook, your spin a spinner bait, and your um whatever that is. Uh, then yeah, you got your rod. So yeah, you can have a second rod as well. So yeah, the rod we're using is, uh, we've got is the rig. So rod, greenhorn, reel, prologue, line, whatever that is, floater, bubble, hook, hook, and bait is bloodworm. Then you've got your journal, your handbook. So this shows all the different fish you've actually caught. So then you've got legendary fish, you've got latest catches, you've got coins, you've got figures, you've got lost, and you've got notes. And then you've got profile. So yeah, you've got your reserve, fishing, gear, exploration, and currency. So yeah. There we go. So that's everything in there. Uh, thank you. Okay, that also brings that up. That also brings... So yeah, on the... D-pad, it also brings it up as well. So yeah, really, really nice, actually. Nice tree. Sophia Taylor from Taylor's Tackles here, and I hear you're in need of a little fishing refresher. Well, let me tell you, you've come to the right place. Although, another right place to go would be Taylor's Tackles, right down at the central outpost. Can't miss it. Okay, so welcome to Goldfish Reserve. Ease in. You'll be presented with some short explanations and instructions. These instructions will cover the controls and how to catch your f first few fish. Once you finish the tutorial, you'll be connected to online multipl multiplier automatically. All you will need to do is sign into your Apex account. Now, first things first, let's get you in position. Step up to the pier, if you please. So, let's start off with a simple cast. Keep those shoulders and hips square for me. Okay, so it says hold LT. You do realise I haven't got my rod out, you know. There you go, there's my rod. So hold LD. Do that. And... Hang on a second. Oh. Reel it in. Take your time. Get used to it. So hold LT. Now we're fishing for real. I'd like to see a nice clean cast. Strike as soon as she bites and reel her in when she's tired. There we go. Done. So yeah, when a uh, fish decides to appear. So yeah, this game's just going to involve a lot of waiting. Strike! Hopefully we can bring this fish in. Go. So I don't know how to change the character on this, that I don't have a clue. Okay, so the fish we got it was a mountain white fish, weight six uh, zero point zero six kilograms, length eight point eight five centimeters, 
That was what we used to capture temperature 13.19 Celsius. Bait use bloodworm time 29 seconds. And then traits score of 1. So yeah, we'll release the fish anyway. Okay, catching fish will earn XP and credits. Credits will allow you to buy new equipment and apparel from the shop. Enough XP will level you up, unlocking additional equipment in the shop. Congratulations! She's a beauty. The fish here aren't yours to keep, so even if you love her, you gotta let her go. There we go. So if you catch a fish, you've sadly gotta put it back. I believe that this is the shopkeeper. No, that is not the shop. That is not the shopkeeper. Um, bear with me a second. Okay, so here's all your settings. So you've got controls, accessibility, audio. Um, yeah, I'll sort the audio out now, actually. But yeah, I'm probably going to get copyright strike right at the beginning of this anyway, so... I'll put the dialogue down to about 60. Do you know what? I'll put the sound effects up to 60. I'll bring the music level down. Probably put that at 50. Ambient, we'll bring that down to 60. And yeah, there we go. Uh, cancel that, thank you very much. I'd rather not jump over to multiplayer. So yeah, as you can see here, you've got multiplayer. The thing always people always want to ask is there cross play? Yes, there is cross platform. Player game tags, active reports, active report duration, active report size, active report activity is just filter, enable player join message, enable player leave message, enable fish court message, and that's about it. And then you've got your credits, of course. So pretty nice actually. Okay, location, new lookout tower. Bear with me a second. There's the lookout tower over there. So yeah, this is mostly just fishing in lakes. This isn't actually hunting animals. This right here is my pride and joy. The Central Reserve Outpost. This ain't just any outpost. You'll find all the bells and whistles here, like Taylor's Tackles, a brand new shop run by my friend Sophia. Other than that, you'll be able to find notice boards, storage lockers, a boathouse and a garage for easy access to transportation, plus a flagpole for yourself. Wow, thank you. And yeah, we've got the little map thing down there as well, in the uh, bottom left-hand corner. Diamond, whoa, whoa, Diamond Peak Outpost. Right, I do like to have a look around, you know. The buildings look quite nice, actually. Telephone. Ah, the auto rental. No, not jump, you donut. Okay, so we've got a Voyager Blue Rat we can actually uh, rent. We will go over to that building shortly. I just want to have a look around all these other buildings. 
nice to put a fish to a face. While oh, hello. you're here, can I interest you in a bargain? Okay, what you want? Right, hang on a second. Ah, so here we go. It's the blue worm. Eggs. Minim minim Old Clay is a nice Min guy. An inherently good guy, even. But he thinks he can do all of this on his own, and that just isn't true. This park is just the best kept secret, but who is that helping? Okay, so what's it asking me to do? Equip the mineral bait. Right, okay. No, not that. Close that. A few years ago, I was working in a business a million times the size of Taylor's tackles. This one's Taylor made for me, though. Right, bear with me a second. to visit here as a kid. It's just like I remember it, for better or for worse. One rod on the rocks. Ah, hello. Customization. Ah, <coughs> here we go. Here's the customization. Da -da 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 -da. And I'm doing this at the shop, guys. I'm doing this at the shop. So you've got body type A, body type B. So you've got a male and a female. So you've got eth eth ethnicity. So you've got one, two, three, four, five. And then back to one. Hem, hats. So we've got no hats, no masks. Hair, no hair. Style 1. Actually, can you... Uh, yeah, you can turn the character. So you've got style 1, none. Style 1, none. There you go. Facial hair. So you can have a moustache, a beard, or none. Hair colour. So you can have it all different colours. But we're going to keep it as black anyway. Then you've got accessories. So none at the moment. Tops. So you've got the inc uh, we've got the Incan Incanto wine burgundy at the moment. You've also got the Incanto dark olive olive, and that's about it. We're gonna go for that one instead. Gloves. So you've got cave bat dark olive none, and that's it. Curtain call sandy desert. So bottoms. So yeah, you can change it to curtain call woodland camo. And then, yeah, we're going to go that one. Boots. So you've got Vigilante Mar uh, Maroon. And that's about it. Rotation. Okay, we're going to leave that. So yeah, there we go. That's the character customization. So you can buy stuff, sell stuff, store stuff. And then you've got local souvenirs as well. So yeah, you can buy equipment. So you can buy yourself a new rod. Reels. Lines, lures, hooks, bait, floats, jig head, and soft plastics. Apparel, so you can buy yourself some new boots, gloves, tops, bottoms, hats, and accessories. And then vehicles. So, here we go. You can actually buy vehicles. So it looks like you can fish on the side and you can fish in the water. So you can buy the Lionheart Sports Dolphin, the Lionheart 500 Sports Red Belly, the Sport Fortune, the Sport Kismet, the Sport Neo Star, the Sport Neptune, the Sport Nimbus, the Sport Aurora, the Sport Anemone, uh, the Sport Hot Streak, the Sport Lobster Pot. The Sport Barracuda, the Sport Aster, the Sport Plankton, 
and that's back. And that's for the boats. But then cars, you've got the Voyager Blue Rat Sunburst. You've got it in Teslet. You've got it in uh, Vigilance. Fragment. Um, Blackout. Chameleon. Strike. Marathon. Bumblebee. Uh, Wayfinder. Sunbla Sunblast. And Muskeg as well. And then I say you can sell equipment, apparel, and vehicles. That's your customization for your character. You got your storage for your rods, your re rods, reels, lines, lures, hooks, bait, floats, jig, uh, jig heads, and soft plastic. So you can just put it in your storage. And then here's your local souvenir. So the souvenir shop is where you can buy most of your expensive and exclusive items. Unlike regular shop, the souvenir shop is a unique is unique to each reserve. Items in the souvenir shop are gradually unlocked as you earn more reputation and purchase trophy tokens. So reputation. Reputation is measured on how massive. How uh, sorry. How many missions you have completed in the reserve, higher reputation unlocks additional items for purchase in the souvenir shop and is earned by completing missions around the reserve. Trophy tokens. So, something you might note have noticed after catching the gold rank sur surge is that you've gained a gold trophy token. Trophy tokens are earned from catching gold diamond or legendary rank fish you can and can be exchanged at the local souvenir shop unlike credits trophy tokens are bound to each reserve so if you want to buy yourself a souvenir you'll have to catch trophy fish in that reserve okay so the reserve so the reserves reserves no so the souvenirs you can get is a campaign cover golden ridge hat golden ridge trousers Golden Ridge Top, On Sale Sasquatch Sombrero, uh, Catty Wumpus, Cheap Cryptid Chest, Spotlight, Beacon, Budget Bigfoot Bottoms, and the Licky Split. And then you've also got equipment, so you've got Backpack Expansion, Tackle Box Expansion, Epilogue, Gold Horn, Keen Sort, Canny Walk Tick, Deft Nexus, Cunning Jaffa, Golden Monkey, Casso, Dead Mint, Devil's Advocate, Pure Champion, Visionary Direct, Chief Counselor, True Meditor, Grufala X, and Darren, uh, whatever that is. Bear with me a second. Sorry, I just had to check my uh, audio. That was all. There we go. So yeah, we will go and catch another fish shortly. But I want to have a look around a bit. Okay, some information. Trail guides. So we've got another house down there. Okay. Some sort of sheds and stuff. What's this? Okay, I think that's someone's house. Golden Ridge Reserve. Okay, so we've got some information boards here. As it looks. Actually, do you know what? We're gonna rent. We're gonna rent a vehicle while we're here. Actually, see if we can rent a vehicle. Cool. Now that you've called a car, move to the left door and press that button, which is different on PC, and it's different on PlayStation as well. To enter the driver's seat. There you go. Here's the vehicle. Very very nice. Okay, to dr drive the car is done by using that button. It's different on cons in PlayStation and Steam. 
to accelerate and press those buttons to steer left and steer right. Using that button allows you to quickly decelerate or move backwards. So yeah, that's what it looks like in the back. Very nice. No, don't get out of the vehicle, you do not. Okay, so you can take that you can take that information off. Okay, so that gives me all the what's in my journal. I don't want that. So yeah, I've rented I've rented this vehicle. I don't own I don't own this vehicle. Do right, you know what? We'll just park we'll park it over here. Ah, hello. Yeah, ha! So you can change the camera. There you go. We'll exit the vehicle. Okay, so Bear Lake fishing perm permit. Boat hire. Aha. Uh -huh. So yeah, you can hire the Lionheart 500 Sport. Now that you have called your boat, simply walk onto it and you'll automatically be automatically seated. If you want to get out, simply interact with the jetty and use that button. Okay, so let's go to the jetty and catch a fish. The thing is, can we actually put the boat away? Oh, okay, you can actually move the boat. That's better. Okay, let's get our fishing rod out. Hold. <coughs> no, don't do that. Okay, now we just have to sit and wait, because that's what the fishing is like. It's just... Fishing is a waiting game. Oh, hello. We've got ourselves a fish. So yeah, to save strain, the best thing is, is actually to move your rod. Yes, uh, to let you know guys, I have been fishing, I have been fishing in real life, so I know kind of the, uh... There we go, so we've got a black crappy. So yeah, weight of 0 0.2, uh, uh, tw so 20 kilograms, 16 centimetres, we use that rod, that reel, and that bait. So the temperature is 13 Celsius. Bait used with the min now. Took us about 32 seconds to um, catch, and we've got a score of 115. But sadly, guys, we can't keep the fish. We've sadly got to throw the fish back. Okay, well done. Swap your bait slash lure is good strategy to use. If you're not getting any bites or want to try to catch different species, change hooks will affect the size of the fish that bite. Small fish will not bite bigger hooks. So if you got so if you have to small fish guys you need a small hook. If you have to bigger fish you need a bigger hook. And also all the um bait and lures that go with it as well. Bear with me a second, guys. Okay, so what does it want us to do next? Drag and tension. So, go to the jetty. So, the jetty we want is over there. 
you know what? Put the uh, put the rod away. Do you know what? We don't need the car. Uh no. Hey, you can jump as well. So yeah, on the Xbox controller guys, jump is A. I say on PlayStation it will be X. Okay. Bad leg again. Well, don't fall in the water yet though, not. Okay. Dragon tension. Manage. Managing drag and line tension is important when catching bigger fish. Too much tension and the line could snap. Too little drag and the fish will start to swim away. Tension is viewed by the circle in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Okay, we want to catch another fish, so we'll get the fishing rod back out. Hello. We'll go like that. No, not like that. There we go. So our fishing rod's back out. So what we want to do is just sit and wait. Okay, we've got a strike. We've got a strike. So yeah, as you can see in the bottom left-hand corner, there's the uh, tension thing. So if it goes white, there's not much tension. If it goes red like that, there's a lot of there's a lot of tension. And I'm moving this like a crazy person. But yeah, as you can see there, guys, my thing in the co top uh, left hand corner, sorry, right hand corner, was going white. Then it was going pink. Then it was going red. So when it was white, there wasn't much tension. When it was pink, there was a little bit more tension. And when it was red, there was like loads of tension. So yeah, the uh, one we've got is a smallmouth bass, 41 kilograms, length 20.73 centimeters. That's what we used. Temperature, again, 13 Celsius. We used the same bait as last time, and it took us 35 seconds to grab. So yeah, that's the fish there. But we have to sadly put the fish back. Okay. So, well done. So, well done. A high drag increase. The stopping power of your reel. Preventing the fish from taking line. This also increases the line tension, which is a double-edged sword. The high tension will tire the fish faster, but also put puts the line at risk of snapping. Sometimes a fish will be too large for the gear and requires a stronger tackle. Okay. Greet the warden. Do you know what? Put the put the um the uh what's it called? Rod. Sorry my brain my brain just I don't know what happened there. My brain just went into a bit of a meh sort of mode. Right, what we're going to do, we're going to walk over, we're going to get in the vehicle, we're going to drive up and greet the warden. Ah, so the house we were looking at earlier was the warden's house. Well, well, I take it you got my message. Welcome to the reserve, buckaroo. Yes, I did get your message. The warden of Gold Ridge Reserve works to protect the environment in the park. He has visitors to keep an eye open for invasive plant species, disease trees, and malfunctions. Malfunctioning equipment. Among other things, if you see one of these th these objects, you can interact with them and let the warden know. 
Gorgeous day out there. Not that I get to enjoy it much, but I feel a little gorgeous. You feel a little gorgeous, do you? Okay, so take a mission from the challenge board. Where's the challenge board? Oh, the challenge board is over there. Alright, we'll leave the car there and we'll just walk over to the challenge board. Okay, the challenge board. The challenge board holds different types of challenges and other calls of and other calls to action. There is a challenge board at every outpost in the reserve. As you complete challenges, more will unlock. There are three different types of challenges. Each one involves finding a location and catching a specific fish. Okay. This board has two unique missions. The Golden Tour leads you around to key locations in the reserve while Taylor's Tackle Academy teaches the fish mechanics in detail. These mission, me missions, missions, wow, words. Now these missions are recommended for new players. Okay, so let's have a look, shall we? Okay, so the one we went for was Taylor's Tackle Academy. Welcome to Taylor's Tackle Academy. In this series of missions, you'll be taught the basics of the game. There are four classes, each involving a series of objectives followed by a challenge recommended for beginners. If you are able to follow these classes for extra information in between your own exploration and fishing. This class will now cover float fishing, baits, and hook depths. The lesson will continue when you reach the Mart location. You've joined multiplayer for the first time by default. You will automatically be connected to a server and join people from all over the world. To turn this off, disable it, this in the Apex options in the access menu. Okay. So we're like in a uh, a multiplayer area. But it's for guys, from what I'm aware, multiplayer, uh, multiplayer. Now other players don't attack other players, you know, they're just going out there fishing and minding their own business. I wonder, can you, uh, what are you doing? Thank you. Uh, no, we don't want that. Uh, let's have a look at the map. So yeah. This is the map, the Camp Tower, so it looks like the more we explore the map, the more we'll unlock. And then that's the Take the Tour mission as well, which we'll also take the Tour mission as well. So let me have a, let me have a look. Uh, challenges. No. Actually, that's a point. Can you, um, so I don't think there'll be many people on on air uh, multiplayer. Or anything? Do you mind? I don't think I've even got much coin either. Uh, I've got 129 in coin as it looks. Let's have a look. Lovely afternoon for a fish, or perhaps a purchase. I'll be over here. Ah, yeah, we can actually buy stuff now. That's cool. Uh, do you know what? Let's have a look at equipment. So yeah, we can buy a new rod, which is the green horn, but that's the rod we're using anyway. Oh yeah, so right, let me just go back. So for rod you've got spinning, you've got bolt casting and you've got match as well. Reels you've got spinning and bait casting. Lures you've got that one, you've got that one and you've got braided as well. Lures, so you've got spin, spinner bait, spinner, popper, frog, spoon, swim bait, jerk bait and crank bait. Hooks. So, you've got hook size 10 and hook size 9. Bait, so you've got natural bait like your pearly barley, your bread, your hot dog, dough, 
marshmallow, eggs, liver, and cheese. And then you've also got your live baits, so you've got your blood worm, your red worm, your leeches, and your min now as well. Floats, so you've got your wangler, your bubble, your cigar, your spring slip, your slip bubble, and your glowing. And then, yeah, for your jig heads, you've got your light jig heads, you've got your medium jig heads, and you've got your heavy jig heads. And then, as I say, you've got all different soft plastics, like worm, shad, grub, tube, shad, but, okay. So, basically, all sorts of different ones. Uh, apparel, so yeah, you got, you can buy, blah, 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 buy some new gloves. You can also buy some new tops. So yeah, for uh, hang on. So for sneakers, you've got sneakers, rubbers, and hiking. For finger, for gloves, you've got fingerless, and you've got extra grip. So for tops, you've got short sleeve, long sleeve, rain, and thermal. For bottoms, you've got shorts, and you've got longs, which basically are trousers, or as they call them in America, pants. For hats, you've got caps and you've got fishers. Accessories, so you've got sunglasses. And that's about it. And then for vehicles, yeah, you've got your boats and your cars. And then as I say, you can sell, you can sell stuff like I've said before. But yeah, we're going to try and earn a bit more cash. Do you know what? We're going to get in our car and drive. Been a lot livelier since you showed up, Buck. Thank you. Catch you later. Catch you later, yeah. Catch. See you later, guys. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we'll exit the vehicle. Okay, so float fishing. Float fishing uses a float and a hook and some bait. Once the bait is in the water, the float remains on the surface and acts as an indicator. If a fish is nibbling or biting, isn't if if nothing bites after a few minutes, you can reel in and cast in a different location. Okay, read the instructions. Okay, so equipped the blood worm. No, not that. So what we want to do is equip the blood worm, which we've just done. Okay, so catch a fish using the blood worm. So what we want to do, we want to get our rod back out. And then all we have to do is just sit and wait. I say the water in this looks quite nice actually. But yeah, like I say, the reserve is actually... Yeah, the reserve is actually quite big, so... You're probably not going to run into players that often. What's the fish we're going to catch? Come on, fish. Fish. Fishy. There we go. We've caught the fish. So the fish we've caught is another black crappy. Weight of 22 kilograms. Length 16.78 centimetres. That's what we use. The rod, the reel and the bait. Temperature 13.71 Celsius. Bait used, blood worm. Took us about 24 seconds and we got a score of 148. But sadly, as I say, we can't keep the fish. We've got to put the fish back. Okay. Hook depth. The hook depth is measure is the measure between 
the float and the hook. It can be changed before casting by using those two icons. Okay, a lower a lower hook depth allows the bait to reach a slightly deeper area in the water, luring fish out out fish that are swimming deeper or hiding in nooks and crannies. So, yeah, we've read all the instructions. Thank you very much. So, hook depth. So what we want to do is... Bear with me a second, guys. Okay. So set the hook depth. Uh, the hook depth lower. So what I want to do is set it higher. Okay. Okay, so we want to catch a fish with this depth. So what we want to do is do with that. I'd say this is actually a really enjoyable game. I'm actually enjoying this. So it's nice and peaceful and just relaxing. So all we have to do is just... There you go. Boom. We've got ourselves another fish. Fishy, fish, fish. Come on. I know I need to calm down on the, uh, what we call, a yellow perch. Weight 0 0.42 kilograms, weight 17.94 centimetres, so yeah, that's the length, not the weight. So temperature 13.5 Celsius, bait used, blood worm. Time took... 16 seconds and we've got a score of 409. Okay, so next class. Well done. You've learned the floating, fishing, the bait and hook depth. The next class covers the hook size and building your own rig. It will also it will be available upon completion of the challenge. So yeah, we've just completed class number 1. Oh yeah. So what we're going to do guys is... Um, no, don't do that. Yeah, we're just going to put the rod away a second. And what we're going to do is... We're going to go over here to the handbook. So yeah, the fish we've caught is the ones that are actually showing up. So we've caught a small mouth bass, is the one we've caught. We've also catched a black crappie. And we've also caught yellow perch as well. We've caught no legendary fish. So yeah, here's the latest catch. Yellow perch, black crappie, small mouth bass, black crappie, and a mountain whitefish. No, nothing for coins, nothing for figures, nothing lost, and nothing in notes. So what we're going to try and do, we're going to try and catch uh, five fish. No, not like that, you don't know. Yeah, it's just a it's just a waiting game. That's all it is. It's a waiting game. Oh, we got a strike! Doom. Come on, fishy. I don't know what we're going to catch here. I don't have a clue. There we go. Okay, so we just caught ourselves another yellow perch. 37 kilograms is its weight. Length 16.99 centimetres. 
So yeah, pretty cool. Okay, so we've caught one, f one, one fish. Do you know what? I'm actually gonna put my thing down a little bit um, lower. Um, I'm trying to think. Have I actually got any bait on there? Yeah, I've got bait. I'll cast it too slow. So yeah, I've dropped my little, I've dropped my thing a little bit further down. So we should be, uh, it should be a bit further down in the water now. See, so we've got four more fish to catch. Oh, there we go, strike, boom. There we go, we've got it. Oh, we've caught another yellow perch. Yeah, well, we're gonna quick retrieve all that. Okay, there we go. We'll toggle. We'll toggle focus, so it keeps an eye on where your um, rod thing is. Not rod thing. Your um. Float, that's the word I'm after. It's just a waiting game, that's all it is, it's just a waiting game. You know what? What we're gonna do? We're gonna actually, uh, we're gonna bring that back in. We're gonna put that back up uh, down that. Stop it! Thank you. There we go. Oh, hello. Ah, oh, donuts. We nearly had a fish then. Yeah, my thing's still in the water. There we go, we got ourselves another fish. Like they say, it's all about waiting. Okay, another yellow perch. I'm 
Alright, we're going to put the thing right down. Do you know what? Every time I do that, it seems to just not go very far. Why does it only seem to go that far? Oh, probably because I'm all the way back there, that's probably why. There's a fish over there because I just saw a splash. Do you know what? We're going to reset it. Thank you. We're going to put the th we're going to put the wear bait down a bit. See if that works. Yeah, you can see it's right out, it's out there. Got ya. Sometimes if you uh, move your reel a little bit, sometimes it attracts fish. There we go. Ah, oh, we got a green sunfish. So yeah, 7 kilograms, size of 8.7 centimetres, temperature 13.9 for Celsius, caught by using a bloodworm. Took us 10 seconds to do that. There we go. So yeah, we've got one more fish to catch, and then we've um, complete this what, this challenge that we're on. There's a fish over there. Don't do it like that. Like I say, fishing is just one of these nice, peaceful, calm sort of um, activities. 
tees. There we go, we've got ourselves a strike. Boom. So we've got ourselves a number five fish. ourselves another black crappe, 13 kilograms, length of 13.93 centimetres. Go to the challenge board. So we'll jump in our vehicle, we'll have a drive over there. a bit of a Later. I ain't gone anywhere you donut Okay, so we've got class number two up there, but let's just have a... no, not that. Okay, there's no challenges there. Journal. Do you know what we're going to do? We're going to do the golden tour, is what we're going to do. Do you know what? We will accept that mission. Okay, Taylor's, Atta Taylor's Tackle Academy 2, Beginners Class 2. This discusses the relevant... Revelance... Revelance... Words. Relevance of gear, strength and hook size. After building a rig with some new gear, you will need another location to learn about hook sizes. Stronger gear allows you... Allows you to reel in larger or stronger fish. And line stands more tension, but requires a stronger rod and reel to be compatible and effective. Right, do you know what? We're going to go to here. We're going to go to journal. Thank you very much. So yeah, this is the rod builder. We'll come back to that. We're going to switch back. Out. We're going to switch back over to the golden tour, and we're going to do that. So we will come back to uh, the tackle tour. Uh, visit the water mill. Question is, where's the water mill? Let's have a look at the map. Huh. Wish I could spend more time fishing and less time behind this chaos. Even when I'm serving customers, I'm catching fish in my head. Okay, that's the shop. That's the warden. That's the lookout tower. Okay, where's the water mill then? Have wow. a little clash with old clay. It's like he just doesn't want more people in this park. Maybe he'd have to get more buffaloes. Why make a deal with the devil when there's a hell of a deal right here? There's still more to buy. Come back. Right. Bear with me a second, guys. I'm just going to have a look on a map to see where the water mill is.
So bear with me a second, guys. Bear with me a second. Yeah, he's trying to suss out with the ve the ve 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 So bear with me a second, guys. Bear with me a second. Okay, does it show on the map um, where specific thing? What specific? That words. Um, so it doesn't. It doesn't actually tell you where. Um, ah, hang on a second. Hang on a second. Track. There we go, we've got it on screen. Yay! Da, 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 da. I used my brain. So, where we want to go is... No, that's to visit the sawmill. We don't want to visit the sawmill. Uh, we want to visit the water mill, not the saw mill. Do you think visit the water mill? No, that's visit the vista. Right, visit... No, that's the waterfall. We want to visit the water mill, not the waterfall, you clue. Visit the water mill. There we go. So, the way to get to the water mill is... We want to turn left, then we want to take this road up here, then we want to turn left, and then I think it's... Uh, am I going the right way? Right, so what we want to do is turn left, Turn left, follow this road up, turn left, follow that road across there, follow this road round, then we want to go left again.
just going to check the camera. Okay, the um, junction we want to take is here. See, we're going to the water now, is where we're going. Aha, we got a bridge. Hello, bridge. Just make sure I'm actually going the right way. Yeah, because I want to go up here, and then there should be a junction coming up. Yeah, here we go. Um, hang on a second. Is it that junction there I want to take, or is that another road? No, that's another road, we want to keep going straight on. Okay. So that junction takes you down to somewhere else then. Going over another bridge now. If it ain't the last leech still sucking my nightmare and yours, the watermill. This ain't the same kind of corpulent blood guzzler you use for bait, though. This parasite slurps away at the very ground we stand on. Unlike its just as evil twin, the sawmill. This piece of work is allowed to keep working, which makes its work that much worse. I just hope this thing stops spinning before the world does. And if I'm around to see it, all the better. Okay, so that's the watermill. Visit the ghost town. Right, let's go and find the ghost town, shall we? There's this one over here. Let's visit the railway. Visit the ghost town. Okay, so what we want to do, bear with me, is we want to continue taking this road, and um, basically we want to follow this road round until we get to a junction, and then we want to turn left. having a bit of a tour of the island. But these are fast travel points as well as it looks. You know what guys, I might stream this again tomorrow, on Friday. And then I say tomorrow we'll do uh, we'll do some more fishing. We'll do fishing tomorrow. Right, we'll do the fishing part. Oh, doo doos! That was a tree, tree, tree. 
I thought that was a sign, not... Because the thing is, if I go down this road that I'm going down, I'm gonna... So do I fly? No, because I'm going to go past the railway, aren't I? And I'm also going to go past the Ruby River Range. Ah, do you know what? We'll go around to the Ruby River Range outpost is where we'll go around to. Just an yeah. And then we'll end at the Ruby uh, Range Outpost. And then I say we will continue on um, tomorrow. That's Friday. Yeah, we're going to visit the railway as well. Whoa, 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 we don't want to go doing that. Um, what have I just discovered? I think I've just discovered somewhere else. Um, the Cackling Needle Trailhead is what I've just discovered. We've also got a car valet in place here as well. That's helpful. Um, so yeah, if your vehicle get, uh, do you know what? We're gonna have a look at the car valet in place while we're actually here. Uh, there was also a bad plant back there as well. Um, oh, we'll jump out the vehicle. Oh, what you found there is a sad, sorry waste of chlorophyll. Some fiendish bully they dare call a daisy. If you see more, keep me posted. I will do. Right, while we're here, I'm going to have a look at the car valeting thing. Ah, so this is where you can also rent vehicles as well. Okie dokie. So car hire. I say, I don't know how you get rid of the vehicles. But yeah, when you have your own vehicle, guys, you don't need to do a uh, car valenting. Like, renting a car. Sorry, I just spotted something on a table. What's this? Okay, I've just picked up some... I've just picked up some notes. Okay. Uh, where are we going? Ah, oh, we're going down this trail down here. That was a sign I just hit. a tree I just had. But yeah, you can see there's, well, hello, there's loads of fishing places, loads.
But yeah, like I say, the price for this game, guys, is twenty four ninety nine. If you're buying it on console, like PlayStation and Xbox, but there's also a deal for this on Steam at the moment. It runs to I think, yeah, it runs to the sixth of September. So I know there's some like glitchy things, but don't forget this game it only came out on the 30th of August 2023, so expect some bugs. Oh, we're getting into cowboy country now. Whew. Ooh, this is getting, this is getting, this is getting lethal. Find another trailhead location. Let's just have a look at this. So yeah, we've got another vehicle uh, rental here as well. They're up in the Rocky Mountains at the moment. Well, yeah, there's a bridge there that it looks like you can go and fish off as well. Here you see the tracks of my tears. One more of man's attempts to siphon away nature's bounty at a heavy cost. This railway here carried a precious cargo out of the park to be refined and sold for coin. However, it got shut down when the powers that be did the right thing for once. After the mining industry was ixnayed here at the park, we had no more need for a choo-choo or two. Now they're gone join the rest of the metal they hauled out of here. So yeah, it looks like this is another tr place you can fast travel out to. The railway. She has a sign here as well going... Prosperity Spring Rail Depot. Can't see anything of a rail, like any depots or anything like buildings. So yeah, that's the railway. Where we're going, we're going down to visit the ghost town is where we're going. Definitely tell this is in cowboy country. Right, let me just make sure I'm actually going the right way. Um, for some reason I'm looking on that road. Where am I? Okay, I'm there. To go to the ghost town, we need to go left. So we need to go this way for the ghost town. Another body of water here as well. See, there's the locomotives. See, here we are for the train geeks. See, two locomotives. Just for you train geeks that, you know, I like, I like trains and stuff.
Right here we are at the ghost town. Here's what folks call ghost town. Although a few hundred years ago you'd have known it as Prosperity Spring, the mining hub of Wyoming. Lovely name. But there's nothing nice about chipping away at nature's beauty for some pretty rock. Maybe hard to picture now, but the powers that be didn't always see the value in protecting a place like Golden Ridge. Instead, getting carried along in the gold rush that washed the reserve down the drain. It's hard to say how much damage the toxic metal and acid runoff did to the park. I'm relieved to say that those who could put their foot down before the elks, bears, and whatever Johnson was around got ran out of house and home. Now the town rots where it stands and the gold stays where it should. There we go. Nice bit of information. So just bear with me a second. Uh, hello? I heard some noises. I can actually hear some noises. Noises. Right, the next place we're going down to, I know it says visit somewhere else on there, but we're going to come down here to visit Ruby Range uh, Outpost is where we're gonna go. And then we're gonna end there is where we're gonna end. I say, if you're seeing glitching out guys, that's the game, not the stream, just to let you know. Yeah, that was Ghost Town that we've just been to. Um, let me have a look. So we want to come off here, turn left, and then basically we want to follow. We want to follow the road down, basically. Train geeks, some railway tracks. I oh, look, we got another um, tower over there. Right, let's drive up there, see if we can Open get the town. Open canyons you could park a plane in means you're far out of Ruby River Range. While you're there, drop by the outpost. Much like any other outpost, you'll be able to find notice boards, storage lockers, a boathouse, and a garage for easy access to transportation. There we go, we've reached ourselves to this outpost. So yeah, that's a sort of a tackle shop I think. No, that's just a that's just a normal house. We've got the campfire. Uh, you can't do anything with the campfire, sadly. That's the boat rental. Is there a tackle place around here? Or am I losing the plot? I 
And I've just, I know I've just dumped my car back there, but... I was wanting to see what this big building was over here. Hello. Ah, uh, that was my, that was my feet. Hello, feet. It's a Golden Ridge Reserve. The thing is, I don't know how you say slate. Save on this. That I don't have a clue. I'm gonna go and have a look at the watchtower. See if you can do a saving, uh, saving thing up there. Oh, hello. What's this? Oh, it's a part of a tree. Well done. Well done, you found a tree. Da 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 da. Go up here and have a look at one of the watchtowers. Ah, survey. Here we go. Golden Ridge Reserve. What's in the name, huh? Well, this one dates all the way back to the late 18th century. French trappers named the park Cret d'Or. Okay, that was really interesting. Okay, that's that. So yeah, from the reserve guys, we are, we've got our biggest catch, the yellow perch, our best scoring catch as well. Fish caught, so the amount we've caught is 10, strike success is 90%, catch success is 100%. Favourite species is yellow perch, average weight is 0 0.24, average true score is 100, and, thank you, is 188. So gear, we haven't done, uh, is our favourite rod is the greenhorn. Favourite river is the prologue. Favourite bait is the blood worm. So exploration. On foot we've done 2.7 kilometres. We haven't driven a water, ve water vehicle. Sorry, water vehicle yet, but that'll be... Hopefully we'll do that tomorrow. Distance driven by land-based vehicles, 11.30 kilometres. We haven't done any fast travelling yet, so... And then we've got nothing on currency. Right, do you know what? What I'm going to try and do is... Okay, we're going to exit to main menu. See if that's, sa see if that's saved anything. If not, we're going to have to do it all over again. Which is going to annoy the hell out of me. Nope. It's actually saved. We're actually up here uh, where we left off. Excellent. So yeah, like I say guys, if you want to play this game, it is available on Game Pass on Xbox, so you can actually... Um, see, yeah. What we're going to do, we're going to watch the Reservoir video again as well. I'm Clayton David Johnson, and I would say this here is my park. But from this day forward, well, that ain't quite true. As far as the eye can see, stream to sky, grove to gully, this ain't mine no longer. It's ours. Ours to explore, ours to cherish, and most importantly, ours to take responsibility for. Because if we don't, uh, not a soul will. Take your time to drink it in and get used to life here. The hot springs or mountain lake are great goals. But you call the shots, go where you'd like. Your equipment will take more than a little mastery. But if it's easy, it ain't worth doing. And you'll thank your lucky stars you did in the end. 
It's true that sweet Mother Nature offered up this bountiful providence. But over the years, man has spat on it, ground it underfoot, siphoned off her plenty for ruin. It's been the job of us Johnsons to keep it together since 1872. Trust me, it ain't easy. Hell, I'm not even sure it's possible. But it's well worth it. What we have today is beautiful beyond compare. It's due to the collective efforts of every guest that I can welcome you. Golden Ridge Reserve. There we go. Now that's a nice way to uh, finish a stream. As I say guys, I'm going to continue streaming this again tomorrow on Friday because there's just so much explan explanation. So much exploration. So much to do. You know, you can drive around. You can fish. You know, you can do so much and everything like that. But yeah, like I say guys, you can get this game on Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, PC, by the Xbox app, Steam, PlayStation 4, and PlayStation 5 as well. So yeah, for this game on Xbox guys, it is $24.99, that's the standard edition. So for the standard edition, it's $24.99. For the deluxe edition is thirty-seven pound forty-nine. So yeah, uh, if you get the standard edition, guys, you get the Call of the Wild, the Angler, and the Norway Reserve as well. But yeah, like I say, this is available on Game Pass as well, Xbox Game Pass that is. And yeah, you can pick this up on Steam, guys, as well. Um, the normal price this game on Steam is £23.79, but it's 50% off at the moment, guys. So it's £11.89 to the 6th of September 2023. So yeah, if you enjoy what you see, that's the price on PC. And then PlayStation, I believe, is £24.99 for the launch edition. And then for the deluxe edition, it's £36.99 as well. But yeah, like I say guys, it has been really interesting to actually play something different on the channel. So, and yeah, I know I've been away for a couple of weeks as well, but I just needed some time away from the channel just to focus on myself. But yeah, like I say guys, I will be back with Call of the Wild, the Angular, tomorrow on Friday, where we'll do some more stuff and some more driving around, fishing, trying to catch some more fish and stuff like that. But yeah, like I said guys, I will put my social links down below. I will also put... Yeah, I'll put my social links down below. I'll put the link to this game down below as well. But yeah, there we go guys. I say, enjoy the rest of your day guys. Stay safe, stay happy, and I'll catch you guys next time. <laughs>